like spermidine is a molecule that actually alone in, in a vacuum, it doesn't work well because it needs its friends. It needs the different types of things that your body uses in order to create spermidine, similar to CBD full spectrum and isolate. So yeah, you're paying $8 for a serum, but it's not doing anything. Like if you would actually invest in something with the right stabilization of that ingredient, the right delivery system, that makes all the difference. You know, we are dealing with this now with spermidine. Like spermidine is a molecule that actually alone in, in a vacuum, um, it, it doesn't work well because it needs its friends. It needs the different types of of things that your body uses in order to create spermidine, similar to CBD full spectrum and isolate. So spermidine in, a, in, in, its, in its natural form is 10 times stronger. So uh, we know, we know because we do R&D for other companies, so we, we know also that realm, and we see companies that are going to come with spermidine products, but they're gonna be significantly less expensive because they are using the isolated version and they're gonna pay significantly less. And, and the customer either, you know, is gonna be happy um, with buying something for less money, or the customer is going to basically not see results, but at least we got their money like once or twice, yeah. right? They give us they give us some money. <laughs> and that's that's really uh what they care about. The reason you need you know, millions upon millions upon millions upon millions of dollars of budget, but ad budget, it's because you, you're you letting people down so often. But you're constantly All you need find new people. Yeah. Hmm? yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they say a, a sucker is bo new sucker is born every day. Yeah. That's what these companies are, are planning on. Right. The really big companies, the really big companies. So this is, I would say, the, you know, the, um, the um um what's the name of like a big company that that sells less expensive products like big big company um big i'm blanking on blank on there but like they're 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 more they're more expensive companies called nio than i o d but uh, yeah that's the same as like, aren't they affiliated with the ordinary so that's what i mean that's what the ordinary is doing the ordinary is 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 i mean i i think i by the way Shout out to NIOD. I think it's a great product. Okay, I, I want to say that. But they're but they're basic, uh, the ordinary product. That's what they're going to do. They're going to tell you eight percent hyaluronic acid. Within that eight percent, only two percent is going to be actually hyaluronic acid. Or they're going to make you know two million dollars, uh, two million bottles of the product, and the product is going to sit so long on a shelf that by the time you're getting it, it's significantly lower in in active ingredients. Yeah. Um. But really big companies don't even have like anything the same for the ingredients they don't have delivery systems and people don't realize they're like oh I'm, I'm seeing these actives in here but there's nothing to keep them stable and they have no delivery system so yeah you're paying eight dollars for a serum but it's not doing anything like if you would actually invest in something with you know the right stabilization of that ingredient the right delivery system that makes all the difference listen yeah but i'm going to play devil's advocate you know 30 percent is placebo right. so three people are actually getting results you know uh so so and that's just because they have a good story uh, so you know take it or leave it i think there is a place for for an eight dollar product or a ten dollar or twenty dollar product in the market mm -hmm. um and i also think that there should be an alternative because i don't want people to look at uh, you know we are the cutting edge right our uh youth reset serum is 195 dollars believe me if I could make it cheaper, I would, but there is no way to make it cheaper. Right. Uh, well, we can go into ingredients and I'll break down. So we provide you, you to your skin the same amount of spermidine that you would buy in an $80 a month supplement. Mm -hmm. NAD, the same amount that you're going to buy for you know, $80 supplement. You okay. know, you already have $160 there of, you know, a different brand. We have ergothionine. Ergothionine costs about $5,500 a liter, you know. I uh, some of my products too, it's expensive. Yeah. Uh, you know, shout out to a company from France called Barnett that makes it, but Barnett, uh, you know, are, are, are you know, uh, we have a representative meeting with them now in France. They're, they're um, skincare mafia, I call them, right? They, they, <laughs> they, they own a, uh, an ingredient and they, and they have a show called on the brand. 
Uh, by the way, ergo thymine, great, great product. Uh, uh, but but the list goes on and on and on. You know, I didn't even talk about like uh, like um, uh, peptides, which again we use patented versions of peptides because we want to make sure they work, yeah. right? Even though I'm not a big uh, peptide uh, proponent, I, um, I know. <laughs> but but they, you know, uh, argirelin, for example, um, um, is a peptide that that is patented. Mm -hmm. It means there is a company that takes a premium on that, so on and so on and so on. So what is a you know, company like The Ordinary is going to do? Either they're going to use like uh, peptides that, the, that, the, that are not that great and no one renewed their patent, like Matrixol family or, um, you know, uh, uh, other peptides that are less effective. Right. Or, or they're going to um, create complexes, basically, that inflate the amount that you think you're getting there. And again, three out of people, three out of ten people get some results because they believe that, the, the, you know, the product, there is a placebo effect there. Right. In skincare also, obviously, we have polymers, we have stuff like that, give you the, that give you the semblance of results. Mm -hmm. um, now, the really big companies, the really, really, really big companies, L'Oreal, Estee Lauder, I always always give the Estee Lauder example that in 2019 Estee Lauder came and basically had an inc a crazy marketing uh, campaign. Like again, like tens of millions of dollars spent only on on Macy mark Macy's marketing in Macy's, and um, they came out with a with a product based on what was their amazing ingredient, turmeric. <laughs> and you're thinking, oh my God, I've known about turmeric for like a hundred years. Well, uh, the reason I love, love giving that example is because this is where the median person that is, you know, is trying to look better. That's the new molecule they've heard about. Mm -hmm. Everyone listening to this to this live on Instagram, if you've known about turmeric for before 2019, congratulations, you are actually ahead of the curve. Right. So that that is when you know um, um, Estee Lauder deemed. That it is that 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 turmeric is ready for prime time, <laughs> and by the way, um, by the way, they are correct. Uh, Ayurvedic uh, skincare companies that now make bank. I'm telling you, um, did not do well and shut down, and and were a flop prior to to those to to to, to the early uh, 2020s. Right. So, really big companies. Try to find what the lowest hanging fruit is, and then the you know the amazing marketing machine is going to pump that out. So I am assuming that probably within like three four years we're going to see the big you know peptide discussion. What we think now, you know, you, you listen to me, and I'm telling you, people are trying to sell you peptides as the as a silver bullet and i'm telling you hey peptides if you really want them to work you better inject them or in some cases take them as a pill don't get excited when you hear about it in skincare um we're everyone listening everyone that agrees doesn't agree with me we're all in the same boat we're all way ahead of the curve mm -hmm. so that's kind of, a, of an idea where where companies are at we are so esoteric right young goose is an esoteric company okay what we care about is is to be right as far as like to 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 treat yourselves right and that is why we are still um a company that not a lot of people know no because that's not a not a very you know we don't have we don't have 50 millions to spend on maces yeah exactly i don't know if you want to spend anything in Macy's right now but yeah <laughs> yes I know I, I I love everything everything that that you guys are about where do you guys see young girls going in the future then do you, how do you guys you know what advancements are you doing what are you guys planning you know where are you taking the brand okay it's, a short answer is biologics uh, exosomes and things mm -hmm. like that we already obviously are pioneers in biomimetic lipids which is like super important but people probably know ceramides and things like that but really Again, ceramides is, a, is the low-hanging fruit. We can actually mimic cholesterol. We can mimic different uh, fats that are living on the top of your skin and, and, and 
make up your skin barrier. And we have it in many of, of our formulations. That's what carry, carries NAD uh, nanoparticles or micronized particles into your skin. That's what carries the, the, um, the re re our retinol, for example, into your skin, etc. But um, we are going to get into the exosome space. And this is a whole new discussion. But exosomes right now, you, people need to understand exosomes are, it's like saying liposomal. Right? If I have, if I, if I'm telling you my product is liposomal, I don't know if you're gonna. You should not get excited because you're gonna tell me liposomal. What? What are you providing me with? So every every uh, uh, skincare company under the sun. I know you just launched a company that I love, which is called Plated. Right? You, you started selling them. Yeah. Shout out to Plated. Great product. Um, but. Plated, which has about a trillion exosomes in their um, the more concentrated, like 15 ml yeah, uh, product. Exactly. Yep. They say, hey, we actually don't know what information our exosomes carry. Mm -hmm. We know a lot of it is good, and, and I agree with, with their assessment, mm -hmm. but we would need literally to go into millions and millions of dollars of research, which instead of, again, pushing our products to the knowledge of more people, we're going to have to now spend it on, on being, being, treating you right, which is very difficult. It's a very difficult decision to make, especially if you have a good product. Mm -hmm. Hey, we know the product is good. Leave us alone. Mm -hmm. So um, what we are, you know, what we are doing, we took our time with exosomes because again, I, I want to say on a personal level, I thought the FDA is going to shut exosomes mm -hmm. now. So um, we, we have been doing research around exosomes. <laughs> happen what do you still feel like that's gonna happen that's a possibility. no no okay. no it is always a possibility but uh we were waiting for september to be to to to, to be to to explain what's going on so in september okay. the fda had uh stricter regulations around labels oh right uh so you saw a lot of companies kind of change their labels a little bit around uh september or before because they were getting ready for it and we thought the uh the the fda is going to see the amount of misinformation around biologics mm -hmm. and is going to to, um, and, and basically is going to uh, kind of shut down the idea of using uh, of human derived right or or animal derived exosomes which is different than than plant derived exosomes plant derived exosomes I'm not even going to uh, merit any 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 of my vocal cords to explain but this is this is more BS it's like plant stem cells okay it's BS beyond BS exactly okay? but but um, um, but that, that's why we took our time. Yeah. But uh, basically, we're going to launch a two trillion uh, exosomes per per um, per fifteen ml product. But we will make sure we say, hey, this is the amount of a specific growth factor that is carried there, or anything like that. And we we're working very hard because uh, uh, exosomes and NAD are not. Um, not the best of friends so we need to make sure that they that they work well together because that's part of what we want okay now that that was my my small rant about the future but the bigger thing that i feel that that we're going to be doing is uh actually and i think we I think we hear often about personalized skincare. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, especially, by the way, if anyone likes AI and ChatGPT, ask ChatGPT what the future of skincare is. It's going to tell you personalized skincare. But the problem is, is that you 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 will never you will you will never have not never, but it's going to be a long long time until you have skincare that is specifically made for you when a company says hey fill up this whatever spit into this vial whatever that is and we're going to make you a skincare product right. they're lying mm -hmm. okay they have a certain amount of formulas and then they stick your name on it and they send it to you mm -hmm. um but that but but what you can do is create products that fit through again through a uh, big data and machine learning fit products to your specific needs and what we're going to do what we're going to launch and this is actually we needed to to register it with the fda as an as, as a medical um, medical uh, assessment analysis and and recommendation 
we're going to launch a metabolomics test. It's a basically it's a you you prick your finger like you test your insulin and or your or your ex, or your uh, ketone levels basically like you know if you are on a ketogenic diet you you touch a, a piece piece of pad and you send that pad everything is obviously in a box and what we're going to analyze are different molecules in your dry blood spot that tell us what is the health and kind of biological age and everything that's associated with your skin right. what what your skin needs in order to function on a on a, a more younger um in a more young younger state that might be your again your mitochondria that might be uh, NAD levels that might be again sp we test spermidine there we also test uh things like um you know t different types of vitamin C components uh, which are important for collagen production, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So we test about 19 different um, components that your skin needs in order to function optimally. And then we tell you, hey, here are the Yangus products that are going to make sure that we fill in all these gaps, aside from creating a, a again, better skin through youthful function, but also making sure that you, you your gaps are, are filled. And this is going to be, that, that's going to be the first test metabolomics test, skin-specific metabolomics test in the world. And this is going to be uh, the first real um, personalized skincare uh, test and, and actionable results in the world. And uh, by the way, you people could, could probably buy it in Skin Truth, and, and that's, that's pretty easy to do. It's, it's, it's all through AI, very easy. Um, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, it's so cool. Like I said, your brand is so, so interesting, so unique. I'm so glad that I found it personally and I get to share it, you know, with everybody that listens to me because you, know, you have great, you, you have great products and just great, you know, just different science behind them. So I love that. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Um, last, I think what we're really interested in is the, is the intersection between red light therapy, as, as you know, that's where I'm coming from. Right. And, and DNA repair. So probably, you know, in the next two months, we're going to launch a new, we have the green tea phytoserum that increases red light therapy oh, efficacy, yeah. but we're going to have a completely different, you know, uh, version of it that has DNA repair enzymes that are activated by red light. Oh, and, yeah. you know, when we have DNA repair enzymes right now in skincare, the problem is that like 99% of them they don't actually, they're, they're, they get activated or they're already active and they're kind of, they, they, they don't get to where we need repair. Mm -hmm. So by applying something and waiting, you know, one minute until it gets absorbed to where it needs to get deeper into the skin, mm -hmm. and then we activate it with red light, we can have significantly more uh, uh, profound DNA repair.